Today I'd like to talk about some vital steps we can take to strengthen Ada County's emergency response capabilities. There are three key areas where targeted improvements can make a substantial difference. Contingency planning for workforce disruptions, preparedness for long-term power outages, and refining our public communication strategies. Scenario 1. Contingency plan for workforce disruptions. First, let's consider the scenario where our workforce is disrupted, be it due to a pandemic, a natural disaster, or an economic crisis. The absence of critical personnel could severely impact our ability to respond to emergencies. To address this, we propose developing a comprehensive workforce continuity plan. This plan would include mobilizing reserve personnel, cross-training staff, and leveraging remote work capabilities to ensure that essential services remain operational, even when regular employees cannot report to work. Imagine a situation where Ada County paramedics reserves can be quickly called in to fill in gaps in EMT shifts. By cross-training staff to take on multiple roles and utilizing remote work technology, we can maintain continuity of operations during a crisis. Establishing agreements with reserve personnel, setting up clear activation protocols, and conducting regular training exercises will ensure that we are always prepared. Next, let's talk about preparedness for long-term power outages. As we know, power disruptions can have a cascading effect, crippling critical infrastructure like hospitals, fire departments, and emergency medical services. To mitigate these risks, we need to establish a long-term power outage response plan that prioritizes restoring power to these essential services using alternative energy sources such as generators and solar power. According to a study by Cavan et al. 2021, long-term power outages can severely impact infrastructure and public health, making it imperative to have backup power systems in place for critical facilities. This plan should include assessing current backup power capabilities, securing funding for installation and maintenance, and regularly testing these systems. Coordination between county departments, Idaho Power, and county supervisors will be essential to integrating this plan into our broader emergency management strategy. By doing so, we can enhance our resilience and ensure that Ada County remains functional during extended power outages. Finally, we must improve our public communication and information systems to ensure accurate, timely, and accessible information reaches all citizens during a disaster. While we have these systems in place, there's always room for improvement, especially in expanding our use of social media, text alerts, and other communication channels to reach vulnerable populations who may not have access to traditional media. During a crisis, clear communication is crucial. It helps guide our residents through evacuation routes, shelter locations, and safety measures, reducing panic and building public trust. We should establish a dedicated public information team within the Ada County Emergency Management and Community Resilience Team, provide regular crisis communication training for staff, and invest in backup communication technologies. Collaborating with local media, schools, and community organizations will also help us reach a broader audience. In conclusion, by implementing these strategic improvements, developing a contingency plan for workforce disruptions, preparing for our long-term power outages, and enhancing public communication, we can significantly bolster Ada County's emergency preparedness and resilience. These efforts will ensure that critical services remain uninterrupted, essential information is effectively communicated, and our community is better equipped to navigate and recover from future emergencies. Furthermore, all these strategies can be seamlessly incorporated into Ada County's Emergency Operations Plan, which is due for an update since its last revision is in December 2018. Thank you for your attention, and I look forward to working together to make Ada County's a safer and more resilient community.